Hi there! In this video I'm going to build the base for the Stuart half beam and then I'll show you overall progress to date. So the piece of mild steel has arrived. Now this is um, 300 millimeters by 200 millimeters, and it's 5 millimeters thick. And I'm going to use this to attach the pedestal and the base plate. And the way I'm, I've decided to attach the base plate is to use some hex bar stock. Um, I think this is 7 16 across flats. So the idea will be to cut some legs and support the base plate on top of this base. And I've also got some uh, countersunk screws here. So these are 4mm. And I'm going to use these to hold the legs onto the base. And I've got some 5BA bolts here and I'm going to use those to attach the base plate to the legs. Okay, so to work out the length of the legs that I need to make, I'm going to use this height gauge. And if I put it on this bearing here, and zeroize it, and then if I put it on this bearing here, in the same position, that should give me the height of the legs that I need to make. And that comes in at 2.2505. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the legs, each leg, 2.25 inches. Okay, so I've cut this slightly over two and a quarter inches. I've faced off this end and having faced it off I've marked up this end to be exactly uh, 2.25 of an inch. So what I'll do now is I'll just face this off to size and then we can drill the holes. So I've sent to drill both ends and now I need to uh, drill and tap this end to M4 so this is a 3.3mm drill bit. So this other end needs to be uh, tapped 2BA and this is a 3.9mm drill bit. Well that's worked out okay, so I just need to do seven more, but I'll do them all off camera. Okay, so that's all eight completed, so what I need to do now is to uh, mark out the holes and drill them. Um, but what I'll do is I'll just 
punch the mark there and make a mark there. I'll have to do it off camera because the camera's in the way. Then I'll uh, drill through and secure these two holes um, with a nut and bolt. Once I've done that, I'll mark the other ones up and uh, drill through and uh, hopefully we'll be able to um, connect these legs. Mind you, they'll need countersinking at the back as well. And using my trusty Medins drill, this was built in 1962, so it's, uh, what would that be, six years younger than me. Well that seemed to be very straightforward and uh, before I show you the results I'd like to thank everybody for the help and support and advice provided in particular to a couple of people who suggested um, getting a syringe and uh, some blunt needles to um, enable me to fill up the oilers. So I looked on eBay and uh, I bought a few of those and I think they'll just be the job filling the oilers so thanks very much for the uh, for the suggestion and uh, also um, Peter aka model steamers he asked if I could uh, give sort of a brief um, insight in terms of uh, where we are with this project at the moment um, so what I've done is having got it on the base I've sort of like partially assembled the components that I've machined so far um, to show you where I've got. Now that now the main items that are outstanding are the beam, the conrod and sort of various linkages. Now I think the beam will be fairly straightforward. I think the conrod will be challenging um, together with maybe some of the linkages as well. But anyway, um, I'll show you how far we've got so far and uh, I hope you like the result. Well I'm really pleased with the way this has turned out so far. Um, I've not attached the pedestal at the moment um, but it's ever so close and uh, if I just hold the pedestal it spins very very freely so I'm really happy with that. Um, this is, as you can see I've got the valve chest complete um, so like I say the main thing is the beam, uh, the conrod and the various linkages and uh, oh the eccentrics as well I forgot to mention those um, but it's, it's really coming on so uh, I hope you like the result too <laughs>